Hi, welcome to Story Fandom. If I had a clever line for an intro, this is where it would go, but I don't. So, sorry if this video is a little awkward. We are both on the introverted side a little bit, so trying our best. First video, I know you guys are here for a reaction, but just because it's our first, I thought I'd give a quick little overview of who we are and why we're here. So, uh, we're writers. We love stories because we know how hard it is to write them. And so when we find great ones, we really want to share our love of those stories with everyone else. So, coming here, you can expect things like this one is a dog? Yeah. That's okay. There's a dog here as well. Um, coming here, you know, you can expect our videos to have reactions, reviews, and some relatable rant, some relatable rants. Um, and maybe every once in a while a story of our own. My name is David. This is Brandy. You don't see him. No, no. You don't see him, but Max is right here. There's his paw. Um, he's our dog. So, um, we're going to be starting today watching Sword Art and Line Abridged. And I love Sword Art Online Abridged. I really, really do. And the 14th episode just hit Twitch last Friday. And I haven't watched it yet. It's because of her. I blame her for everything. But I blame her for this because I want her to show... I want her to see this series. Because I really, really, really enjoy it. I like the original Sword Art Online mostly. The first season was the best. Um, later on it had its problems. Pacing, characters, god powers of speed. Uh, which is why I love what Something Witty Entertainment has done with this series. It is amazing the fact they've actually given this series a new life. And she hasn't wanted to watch it. I bullied her into it, which isn't easy. So, we're going to try to go ahead and give the first episode a try and see how we like it. So, I'll go ahead and get the video started here. And we're going to go ahead and start in 3, 2, 1. No, now we're going to start in 3, 2, 1. Mm, now? Start! So <sighs> red on It's been a while since What have they changed Oh, come on, really? That's just disgusting. Activate ad blocker. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to burn this to the ground. He's still laying there. <laughs> Stumbled across the most powerful weapon in the game. Oh, the Mithril Pebble or Pink Smiting. Please stop. For ah! oh, you see, long ago, this pebble was forged in the fiery pits of Tartarus by the Grand Blacksmith of Lucifer himself in a time before the world began. And thus, Marjosa, God who's like a pebble, fell to his. Alright, we'll pause. Okay, so. At a minute 33. Just so I can do it for editing later. Okay. So their faces don't move while these are in their mouths. Like, they have no facial expressions. Like, that. I think that's gonna bug me. <laughs> like, I want to laugh because what he's saying is funny and he's very sassy. But I'm like. It just not even like this. And it's just. So sassy and has emotion. Well. Okay. As I mentioned in the original series, a lot of the characterization was kind of flat, and the animation, well, functional, wasn't always the best. Okay. I just wanted to know if it was going to be like that. The they do. They make edits as things go on, so they add things like you know eye rolls and stuff like that. Okay. So starting again at three, two, one. He is passed from this world, leaving behind the mighty weapon. For he knew that one day its power would be required once more. Are you done? Yes. But the legacy of the pepper lives on. I have a feeling you get beat up a lot in real life. Shut up! You're in power! Right. 
Anyway, I've got a pizza coming, and I'm gonna meet up with some friends later, so thanks for the quick tutorial on pig slaying, and the not-so-quick tutorial on rocks, Kirito? Hey, no problem. I have fun talking to you. Ball speed 69? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, just a joke name. Just a character to dick around with while I get the hang of the game. I'm gonna make my real character later. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I get it. So, um, your pizza? Right, right. Log it out. Hey, Kirito, um, total new question, but how do I log out? Are you serious, man? Come on, man, it's nerve gear. I can't alt it for this shit. Ugh, alright, fine, it's right. Here? Oh, thanks, player's guide. No, it's here. It's just blank. Wait, there's something scrolling across mine. I get it. Wait, 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 wait. There's more. Ha. Huh. Riveting. Well, whatever. I'll just scroll the nerve gear off. Like so. Hey, dumbass. It doesn't work that way. The nerve gear disables your motor function so you don't move around while you play. Don't you remember all those videos of the beta testers? So lifeless. Iron Man. So many lawsuits. Um, do you feel tingly? No. Why? What the hell is that? Oh, Rosie. I believe the locals call it a hexagon. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll have to check back with you. Off. Oh. And the sky is bleeding. Man, they're really working for that M rating. Oh my god, what's going on? Don't worry, baby. I'll protect you. Alex Persons. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I am Kayaba Akihiko, head programmer. Welcome to the unparalleled online experience that is Sword Art Online. Yes, hello, uh, hello. Um, hello, people. Good talking here. Focus. Okay, can I ask you to go ahead and see the chat here? You think he realizes he just muted himself? Give it a minute. Alright, I just realized what happened there. It's very funny, but right now, serious time. How many of you have seen Tron? Huh? Huh? What, what seriously? None of you have seen Tron? Shh, I was really banking on that. Okay, okay, no problem, I can wait this. <clears throat> Much like the world of Warcraft, none of you are here by choice anymore. Unlike WoW, however, you are being held here by me. Not by your need to escape your empty f***ing lives. There is no longer any way to log out of Sword Art Online. If someone on the outside attempts to log you out by removing your nerve gear, well, has anyone seen Scanners? Yeah, scanners. It's, it's a movie. Seen it? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> yeah. right, here, we here we go. Watch this. Okay, that was from Scanners. Basically that. Okay, finally, seeing some gears turning. We're making progress. Steven? Steven, is that you? Steven, how are you enjoying that advanced copy? <laughs> That's right. Happy birthday, Timmy! Ah, oh, they grew up so fast. Cherish these moments, Steven. Cherish these moments. So, as I was saying, the only way to keep the nerve gear from going off Gallagher on your gray matter is to make your way through Castle Ironcrad and beat Sword Art Online. So, you want us to beat an MMO? Essentially. You. Whoa! Getting a lot of hostility here. Don't appreciate it. Well, honestly, when was the last time you heard of someone beating EverQuest? When was the last time you heard of someone playing EverQuest? That's fair. Anywho, while you guys want to play as girls, and you know who you are, well, a surprise for you. Kirito? Hmm? You're not a girl! And you're not 17! I'm okay with this! Me too! Look, no, no gender! You look so young. And you look less hairy, Bombs. My name is Klein. <laughs> no, it's not. As you can see, I have sealed away your petty facades and revealed you for what you truly are. Barely attractive 20 somethings, apparently. Good for you. That undermines the whole gold light of day thing I had planned. But still, I need to break down stereotypes. Except you, Fatty. Need to bring down the curve. Oh, 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 one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> I should probably mention, if your health points reach zero, your real bodies perish as well. What? Uh, okay. If you die in the game, you die for real. What? Really? <laughs> Sometimes, things are born. They live, and then they stop. Forever. What? Uh. <laughs> uh, oh my god! 
god! If we die in the game, we die for real! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that tabbed. And with that, I bid you all adieu. Oh, 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 last thing, I swear. I disabled the profanity filter. Have fun with that! I'm heading to the next room, and I need your help. Really? You need my help? Yeah, there's a mini-boss on the way, and I need some cannon and water. You in or out? As tempting as that sounds, I really should stick with my friends back there. They're about as skilled as I am, so I figure we have a better chance of surviving if we stick together. Oh, well, monkeys and typewriters. In any case, you may be the most unbearable asshole I've ever met, but you are really good at this game. We could use you in our group. What do you say? You can be my friends, we'll form a guild, and have all these adventures. It'll be great. <laughs> well, screw you too. Think you're too good to join my guild? Think you're all cool because you know how to kill a boar? Basically, Ready Player One. Is that the predate? Uh, I think it predate Ready Player One. I don't know. You may have to look into that. I might. It was a remake. It was like eighties, I think. I want to say. No, I Ready Player One was in the eighties. What was it? Ready Player One came out in two thousand. Just the guy who wrote it loved the eighties, so he wrote a love yeah, letter I to the eighties. <laughs> the difference is, of course, is that here they're actually in the game and they can't get out. In Ready Player One, they could log it whenever they wanted to. So, there is a lot of comedy. The book was better. Although the book had its own issues. He was kind of creepy in the book. So, thoughts? It was late. It was funny. This is a lot of swearing. <laughs> well, they didn't get away with it because it's a fan dub, basically. Mm. As opposed to the official one, you know. All right, so um, I guess we done the first episode there. So again, I'm very sorry these parts are awkward because, like I said, we we're just getting started. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for anyone who liked to subscribe. If you'd like to get more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell they've got somewhere on them. <laughs> they've got somewhere on the screen. <laughs> um, and thank you very much for watching. Bye. It's a bell. <laughs>